Before you even leave a comment, I just want to say that I consider Tom a good friend, one of my best friends, and we've been making content over on his channel for the last four years, the Hot 10, counting down the top 10 sales from the hottest back issues the week prior. And it's a video series that I'm actually really proud of. I always felt like the data was great. It had a high production value, great thumbnails, two good personalities. But if you've been watching the channel for the last week, I'm kind of in a transitional period in my life. And I just feel like it's best to step back from everything else, get back to the basics, and really just focus on my channel and what I like and what makes me happy. Honestly, I don't want to talk about comic book sales. I don't want to sell comic books. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I really just want to make content showing off the things that I think are cool. And the thing with joining with Comic Tom and joining with whatnot, I feel like that's kind of where things started to change for me. And I don't blame either one of them. I don't blame whatnot. I don't blame Comic Tom. I really blame myself and for how I acted in those situations. Like I was telling Tom on the phone earlier, I called him and you know I let him know how, how I was feeling about this. I kind of felt the need to match Tom's energy on his channel. And I can see where that would have come off as inauthentic to you guys who watch me over here. And then to even like the what now point, like I kind of saw what he was doing and that he's successful in what he does. And I'm trying to emulate that, but I'm not comic Tom. I, I'm Jem Min. I, I, I'm a totally different person, different personality. And just because that works for him, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's for me. And he's successful in what he does. He has a successful channel, a successful business. He's got two reoccurring videos that do five figures in views every single week for years. He employs multiple people. He's got a great team, uh, whether it's Ryan and Russ, or you have the editors, Zorro, uh, Slav. And um, I'm really proud, and, and I'm glad that I met them all, and I'm, I'm still friends with them all. This is not a... I left Comic Tom's channel, fuck that guy. Like, nah, man, that's my guy. Like, he's always looked out for me. He's uh, helped lead me to a lot of opportunities, uh, uh, specifically within the comic book industry, man. There's a lot of comic book industry eyes on that channel, and I was so happy to be a part of it. But like I said, I just kind of feel like it's time for me to just focus on my channel and, uh, and the stuff that interests me. And I'm going to record the last show with him tomorrow, which probably won't come out until next week, but I'm going to come on there and let his audience know that it's going to be my last video with him, at, at least for some time. You know, I'm, I don't know if maybe in the future I'll come back to do something, but honestly, I mean, I liked talking about key issues, but I, it really just doesn't interest me anymore, and it's just not really me. You know, that I don't talk about that on this channel, and I don't really want to talk about it over there as well, but... uh I just want to say, you know, thank you to Tom for having me on there for four years straight, man. We did a lot of stuff together. Uh, we had a lot of good times at conventions and such. And uh, again, you know, he's been a great friend to me. Knowing him personally, he's never talked bad about anybody on camera, off camera. He's always been a solid stand-up dude. Anybody that knows him personally, I know he gets attacked a lot online which I really never understood, but again, I know him on a personal level. Anybody who knows him personally will say the same thing. You Maybe you had a bad experience buying the mystery box or what have you, but uh, he's been a cool dude. He's been uh, a good friend, and I just want to let you guys know, and I, I plan to continue to focus on this channel and get back to what it was like before everything else. So, Thanks for checking in, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on the morning live streams. We've been doing them, and I plan to continue to do live streams Monday through Friday in the morning and um, start focusing more on, on the channel here, man. Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay minty fresh. Peace.